Hey everyone, today we're playing the pentatonic cascade workout. We're going to play the pentatonic scale with the metronome and move it around a bit and play it at different speeds. We're going to start at 95 quarter notes, but we're going to play eighth notes. So it's going to count one, two, three, one, two, three, but we're going to play eighth notes. One and two and three and one and two. Okay, and we're going to start on the ninth fret. So get your pointer finger on the ninth fret, sixth string, and uh, I'll count off two measures and then we'll play. One, two, three, one, and ready, go. <laughs> Seventh fret, and let's speed it up. Okay, seventh fret now. One and two and three and ready, set, go. <laughs> Go to the fifth fret. We're at 120 now. Fifth fret, ready. One and two and three and ready, set, go. <laughs> on any one of those uh, positions you need to start over and try it again uh, let's save the open position for a little later but instead go back up to the ninth fret but we're going to be playing at 150 okay so ninth fret one two three ready set go <laughs> and short. One, two, three, ready, set, go. Alright, seventh fret. It's also important to make sure that you're practicing good technique so that your pinky isn't making, you know, it's not out for T so it shouldn't be pointed up. All your fingers should be pointed down at the guitar. And if this is too fast for you, that's okay. Just start the video over and play it as many times as you need to at the slower tempos. Okay, so we were on, what were we on? Seventh or fifth fret? I forget. Uh, let's play the seventh fret. Okay. One, two, one, two, three, ready, set, go. <laughs> Count it like that because it's pretty quick now. All right, let's do that again. Seventh fret. One, two, 
One, two, three, ready, set, go. Okay, move it to the fifth fret now. Go up to 200 here. One, two, one, two, three, ready, set, go. Let's try that again. One, two, one, two, three, ready, set, go. Stay at the same speed, but go to third fret. One, two, one, two, three, ready, set, go. Okay, good. Now I want to move it to the open position. Let me just readjust so I can show you the open a little better. Okay. So let's slow down. The open position trips people up usually, uh, and it's kind of strange, I think, because I think it's a little easier, since you have the open strings. But it almost becomes a different uh, scale because uh, you use different fingers, or you can. And I want to promote that you should not just use one finger the whole time. Uh, it's, be, it's good to be able to do that, but it's even better to be able to use all of your fingers. I kind of take a, a G shape. And I like to alternate a finger every time. So you're never repeating the same, the same finger uh, twice in a row. Okay, so let's have it on 144 here. Okay, and play the open position scale now. One, two, one, two, three, ready, set, go. <laughs> I don't even have a set fingering for it. I just try to alternate. Alternate fingers each time. Okay, it's at 160. We're gonna work our way up to 200. One, two, three, ready, set, go. Okay, speed up. 20. 180 now. One, two, one, two, three, ready, set, go. Okay. Last one, two hundred. One, two, one, two, three, ready, set, go. So that is the pentatonic scale workout, but it's very important to note that that is not the only pentatonic shape. There are five different pentatonic shapes that you move around. 
This shape is the first one that everybody learns. Uh, it's kind of the, the root position of the pentatonic scale, and then you just ascend or descend and play those exact same notes, just in different combinations on the fretboard. But let me just say one last thing that you can do just with this single shape. Since we're cascading it, we're going up three strings, then back one. Up three, then back one. So we basically have these smaller three grouped segments. So I recommend that you, you play each of those segments as your own little exercise. For example, you know, that first grouping that we do. Just repeat that so it becomes and you can reverse it. And then you know do that with all the different shapes or different uh, little segments there. So we could also do the uh, the first descending and just repeat it. Some people even will just bar right here and you can do a hammer on pulse. So that's kind of one thing that uh, you can get away with on electric guitar is you can just do a big bar. And then you can just be in fun pentatonic land for as, as long as you want. But you should take the scale that we just did uh, and start up high and then go down. Because as you can see, the frets get farther apart. So it's just kind of like a bigger workout. It's like putting on a little more weight uh, when you're working out in the gym. Just as you uh, are going through your workout, you're putting on more weight to get more exercise done. That's the, the exact same attitude you want to have. Start off nice and comfortable and then add a little space because your hand has to have a bigger bigger spread. So you want to be able to do it in all those positions. And then of course always be working with the metronome and always uh, be trying to get to a faster faster speed. If you find that you reach a, a point where you can't get faster I say slow it down 10 and then just nail that and make sure that that is perfect. And then I bet the next day or two you will actually be able to play that speed that was slowing you down just one day. Sometimes it just takes some sleep and overnight for your brain and body to process all that information and uh, heal and you know let the, the muscles heal that you're working. And we've got a lot of muscles in all of our hands and neck and shoulders. so you want to be aware of that and just because you can't play it one day doesn't mean you won't be able to play it tomorrow so that's my advice and i'll see you later